correct. So, having a real play day today, as I said in my last video. Um, and I've just received this. I bought it from eBay. Um, it's a stamping platform. And I've seen other art artists use them. And um, wasn't sure how useful it would be. So, it's this one, Stamping Buddy something. I don't know what that says. Pro. Stamping Buddy Pro. This one's by Nelly's Choice. You can buy different brands of these, I've seen. Um, but this one was the cheapest on eBay. Um, and the person who sent it to me wrapped it in this gorgeous paper. It's like handmade, mulberry sort of paper. So that is fantastic. Thank you so much. If you, well, you're probably not watching, but... <laughs> There we go, so I'm going to pull out my stamp, so I'm going to have a little play. And now, the main reason I bought, well, not the main reason, but, well, yeah, the reason that pushed me to buy this stamp is that I was stamping this lady out for a Happy Mail Buddy, and she's too big to fit on my stamping block, and I had to do it by hand. Um, yeah, it didn't go very well. So, I'm going to stamp some more with this. And we'll see what happens. So, first thing you do is make sure your paper's big enough for your stamp. Yeah. And this is just some white. I think this is super smooth paper. And then, well, the instructions tell you to use it this way. So. And I'm just going to line, pop the paper on here, pop the magnets on so that the paper doesn't move, pop my stamp down, move the magnet down just a little bit, and what's happened? Oh, she's on. <laughs> I thought it was something wrong then. Yep, lovely. And then we stamp. Ink, 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 ink. And we press. And She's come out really well here, but not here. So, what I'm going to do is ink again, stamp again, amazing, <laughs> I'm so glad I bought this. Perfect. Okay. Let's do another one. <laughs> do another one up here and then we'll try one more thing on camera. Perfect. Oh. Okay, that was well worth. This is well worth the money because now I can use some stamps that I don't. I don't use her very often because she's so hard to stamp. Let me just take a, a second gen off there. She might not come out very well because. This is, Probably not a lot of ink left on it. But yeah, that's okay. Just clean that stamp off a little bit. Right. <laughs> Blown away. Oops. Now I can use my big stamps. I have um, a really big, gorgeous stamp. 
Um, she's riding a horse and I usually do her by hand and I usually end up messing her up. So that's why I usually paper piece her um, so that I cut out the good bits and <laughs> leave the rubbish bits. But oh my gosh. Now what I'm going to do is take I'm not going to cut them all straight because I want to put some interest in my steps. In my stickers, I should say. These stamps are really sticky. I don't know why. I don't know what I've used on them. Hmm. Okay. As I say, that's probably the stamps. Um... I have some stamp cleaner somewhere. I shall find that later and clean these stamps off. Uh, but for now, what I will do is just put these off. And let's do a sleep. Gives me the opportunity to go back in again. Right, let's, let's move this. So put those nice strong magnets down. with another one I think just for this pull some of the paint off <laughs> in between the uh, stickers. Um, yeah, so I am well impressed with this. If you ever have any trouble stamping, I think I'm going to go out on a limb and say buy this, just buy this. or buy something like this, buy a stamping platform because you buy all these stamps and when you can't stamp them out properly it's annoying because they cost you money and you're using your cardstock up, wasting your cardstock when you can't stamp it properly and there are all sorts of different reasons why you can't stamp properly um, with me, it's usually, like I say, when things don't fit on the block. Or sometimes I don't quite ink that little spot and it just skips and then I 
can't do anything about it because I've moved the stamp away. Whereas with this, I can ink again and stamp again. Actually, I'm going to try something. This might not work. Um, I've got a little spot of blue tack here. And maybe I'll just put those. Uh, we've just been using mermaid ones in another video, so let's use these. Obviously these aren't cling stamps, so they're not going to go into the platform, so I'm wondering if I can use a bit of blue tack. Whereas blue tack doesn't seem to be sticky. Ah! Ah! Ah, no! Give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Right. <clears throat> Let's grab this piece of paper again. Put it on the back. Put that down. Get it to stick. And I think this is going to work. I think it's going to work. I'm going to use my pigment ink. And I've made right a mess on the cardboard. A little bit of it's come out, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. And then you can sort of move your car, your paper. You can even use the measurements on the side to move it by a set amount so that it's even. Oh god, why did I not buy one of these when I first saw them demoed on Crink Craft? I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm so glad I've bought one now. So, yeah, personally, ooh, I'm gonna, um, personally, I would advise you to try one of these. I'm, I am, I've seen artists use them and to be honest, I thought it would be good, but yeah, very pleased, very pleased with this, and I'm so glad I bought it. Um, anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.